Tammy Blair. Welcome back to Beauty Connection. Well, fall is here and so is the time for change. So I'm here with Rachel Nash. She's going to help us through what we're seeing in beauty, hair and makeup uh, this season and how it's carried from the runway. I love this time of year because there's always something new and exciting for everyone. Hi, Rachel. Hi. So tell us what we're seeing on the runway and how that's carried forward uh, to hair and makeup. So right now on the runway, we're seeing a lot of like jewel tones, smoky colors. Um, a lot of the patterns we're seeing are like the snake skin, um, we're seeing a lot of kind of leathers, a lot of lace, okay. um, and then that's also carrying forth into our makeup and our hair trends. So our makeup's looking like very smoky colors, again with the smoky jewel tones. Um, they've been doing a lot of smokies for day, which is more of your colored smoky, so with the greens, the purples, things like that. Um, we're also seeing a lot of bold definition, so bold definition in the eyebrows, um, winged eyeliner, uh, red lips are huge for the season as well. Okay. Then in hair, we're also seeing a lot of, you know, bright colors, um, unusual colors. Um, we're also seeing a lot of elevated styles, so stuff with ponytails, um, bouffants. They're really bringing back like a retro feel almost in the hair and also in the makeup as well. Um, and we're also seeing kind of, you know, ombre hair, which is the hair with, that's got kind of the roots and then a little bit lighter on the bottom. Um, and we're seeing a lot of, you know, feather hair extensions, stuff like that. So really exciting. So really something for everybody this season. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So, um, you know, maybe you could tell us what, uh, how, how someone can achieve a smoky eye. If somebody can take something from the segment, um, maybe quickly how to achieve a smoky eye, maybe what colors to use mm -hmm. uh, this season. Um, definitely for this season, I would use something kind of almost in a dark, like, jewel tone green, uh, maybe even in a purple. Okay. Um, and use, you know, a darker and a lighter, kind of mix them throughout the eye, and then definitely put kind of in the corner just a little bit of black or a little bit of gray, smoke it out, and make it all kind of blend together really nicely. Perfect, because a lot of people might not have these tones in their mm -hmm. closet, but exactly. they can bring fall trends, you know, right to themselves by applying their makeup yeah. in a different way. Oh, definitely. You're going to show a smoky eye on Megan today, so how would you finish this look? Like if Megan was on the runway today, she's got the fashion feather in her hair there, yep. she's got a nice smoky eye, uh, what, is, what is Megan missing, or how can you finish um, I think Meg is missing a bit of a lip color to kind of bring out everything and give her a little bit more definition in those lips. Okay. So we're going to do the fall's biggest trend, which is the red lips. So when applying the red lip, I think um, maybe a good tip is uh, possibly using a liner. Should yep. everybody be using a liner? Absolutely. Um, the liner is just going to help to, like, you know, take all the or keep all the lipstick within the lines here. So it's going to be easier for application. Um, what I like to do with the lip liner too is actually fill in the entire lip as well, and that's just going to help everything to last a little bit longer for you. So I hear uh, a lot from a client that that you know red lipstick doesn't look so great on them. So what would you suggest in that case if they're not uh, wanting to use a red lipstick? Um, I would definitely try and just show them that there are actually different tones of red. Um, a lot of people don't know that usually you can get more of an orangey tone or you can get more of a bluey toned red, depending on whether you're a winter or a summer season. So we've got Megan here. She's more of kind of your, your uh, winter season, so she would use a bluey toned red. Okay, perfect. So there are some ideas for fall, okay? And uh, if you're not sure of your tones, definitely get in. It's your makeup artist, and she can help you if you are a warm or cool season. Thank you for joining us this time on Beauty Connection, and we'll see you next time.